This is part two of aligning a laser, specifically for the Vertical XL 4x8 laser cutting and engraving machine. In this video, we will continue with aligning the second mirror and understanding how to use the screws that are used for the minor adjustments in the back of the mirror. In part one, I gave you an overview of the machine and the specific configuration of the mirrors in relation to the laser tube. We fired the laser to see the position that it hit the first mirror and I demonstrated a method to clean the mirror. In the last video we were also about to align for the second mirror and we removed the mirror so we would make it safe to be able to determine the position where the beam would actually hit that mirror. So this video starts where we're actually putting back the mirror holder and we're screwing that back onto the mirror mount. Remember that this process is dangerous and you must use proper safety equipment. Perform these tasks at your own risk and if you're uncomfortable performing these tasks, please seek a professional. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to put this part back. Okay, now we're going to put a piece of masking tape on that. Like before, go around the edge with your finger so you can get an idea where that, where the edge of the hole is. Go ahead and fire the laser and see where it lands. Make sure you have your safety goggles on. Press the laser to fire once. Okay. It is fired. It looks like it's a little bit low or a little bit, um, yeah. You can see that it actually did fall inside of the circle, but it doesn't look like it's a, a very good spot. So we need to move it a little bit. So we're going to adjust. So we're going to adjust this frame here, and we're going to bring it in a little bit. When you're adjusting the lens position when it's on the machine, there's a couple ways you can do that. First, you're going to have the mounting hole here, so this is where it's going to be mounted to the machine and it's going to be with one screw so you're going to be able to move it in this direction so you'll be able to do this then you also have these two screws that are very apparent screws but it's not as intuitive you you would think because there's also these two screws that are needed to to be loosened and tightened through the adjustments there's also these little screws here that are needed to tighten and loosen when you're adjusting the, the mirror angle if you're wondering why there's even a need for two of these screws when you undo the screw you'll notice that it can still move and that's because this one isn't tight anymore it's going to be there's nothing to prevent this the head of this particular screw from going out so the way we need to bring this in is to actually tighten this so let's go ahead and tighten it now it's tight and you can see that the the ball of the screw here is actually touching this this frame. If you don't see it, if it doesn't move very easily, then you may have to either screw this in or loosen it. Actually, you probably want to screw it in a little bit because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to move easily coming in, but going out, if this is too tight, it won't, won't go out as far as you need it to go. So you might have to loosen this if it doesn't go out far enough. When you're tightening this, it's also important to make sure this is also tightened so there is no play in this portion. And to tighten this, you have to make sure you're tightening both ends at the same time because this one axis is a nut and one axis is a screw. So I'm going to just go ahead and try tightening this first and see if I feel the screw. Okay, it was pretty tight already. So now we've actually moved the frame in. So let's talk about moving the frame out. And when you're moving the frame in, you're laser is going to do this. It's going to go in that direction. So when you're, when you're moving the frame in this direction, the laser is going to go in this direction. If you're pushing the frame out, the laser is going to go into, in this direction. The same goes for the up and down movement of the mirror holder, where when you are tightening this screw, 
towards this frame, then the frame is going to go out. Make sure that you loosen this first, and then when the frame goes out, your laser is going to go in this direction. If you tighten this screw and loosen the screw, the laser is going to go down in that direction. So let's, let's just give that example of doing it in the other direction. So I'm going to be generally pushing this screw towards this, this frame. So I'm going to loosen this nut here so I can do that. But I'm also going to loosen this one, or I'm going to actually yeah, loosen this one here. When you loosen the screw, it will most likely start coming out. Let's go ahead and loosen it. So you can see the screw head start coming out. Now when I tighten this one, making the frame go out, you'll notice that the screw head starts to come in. That's as far as I can go. So let's... We also may have to unscrew the this assembly right here. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this one just a little bit just so it's a little bit easier. I know how to use both. Yeah, that was tight. I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. I think I went a little too much. There we go. Now it's easy to unscrew. You don't wanna unscrew it so much that it comes out. And now I can easily move this one. You can see that it's actually, the frame is moving away from this back frame. And now once you've done that, you can go ahead and tighten this screw again, just to make it secure and make sure that this one is tightened as well. So now once those two are tightened, this, these two frames, you can also tighten this one as well, just to make sure this one doesn't turn, move. And now you have a very stable condition here. It's not going to move at all. You want to make sure that, that is whenever you're doing this this change. You want to make sure that that is absolutely stable, so the laser doesn't unpredictably go in a direction you don't want it to go. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this again, and get it back to a normal level here. I'm going to screw this one in, and I'm going to tighten this one. Okay. Always make sure you have this set set nut. This locking nut. Make sure this one cannot unscrew. We're going to have to unscrew this so it relieves any uh, pressure against this frame because we want the we want the beam to go up. So we need the frame to go that way so this so the beam will go up. We're going to loosen it just a little bit and then we're going to tighten the screw just underneath it. Tightening that screw now. It's pretty tight. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it again and see where it lands. So I've put it on, on another piece of tape, so let's go ahead and see where the let's see where the laser lands. Well, it landed pretty much in the center, but we're going to do it again because it, <laughs> it caught on fire. And that's, that's what you can expect from tape. You could also get um, a paper that is a sort of a thermal paper. Let's try this again. So be careful when you're doing this because the tape can catch on fire. Okay, that's actually a pretty good location because the tape is at the surface of this of this plane here and the mirror is going to actually be a little bit farther down so I'm actually pretty good with the location of it. If I wanted to I can bring it a little bit farther down but I don't really need to uh, and I want to try to stay clear of these belts. Now let's put the mirror back on. 